Very gorgeous. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you feeling this morning? I'm good. Unhappy. Unhappy? Yeah. You actually look happy. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Maybe take us through who is Zala. Uh, Zala is a, a musician, mm -hmm. a very happy soul. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm really grateful to be here today. Yeah. I'm happy to be here, to be hosted here. Yeah. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so How much. How has your musical journey been so far? Yo, it's been <laughs> it's been a very very difficult, adventurous journey. It's quite easy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not easy, by the way. Yeah, but yeah, we I have tried my best. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice, nice. Maybe tell us who is Zala when she's not creating music. Zala is a uh, I'm a swimming coach. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm a lifeguard. I love swimming. I teach private students. When I don't do music, mm -hmm. I go for swimming. I stay in the house, mm -hmm. I do some movies, you know, yeah. Oh, nice. I also read that you're Ugandan, Kenyan. Yeah, uh, my dad mm -hmm. comes from Uganda. He's an Italian mm -hmm. and Ugandan. Mm -hmm. And then my mama is an Indian mm -hmm. <laughs> and a Kikuyu. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's an interesting mix of <laughs> yeah, culture. Interesting, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was born in Uganda, in a, a place called Jinja. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then my mother came with me when I was one years old mm -hmm. in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So I grew up in Kenya. Yeah. Yeah. So technically, you are a Kenyan. Yeah. I can no, say that I'm you're a Kenyan by through your life, but by birth and all that, you are Italian. Ugandan, yeah. Kenyan, yeah. and Indian. Yeah. That's a really interesting <laughs> mix. That's, do you ever practice the cultures? No, mm -hmm. uh, not really. Uh, okay, culture, I, I really love Kenya, by the way. Mm -hmm. I have grown up with this Kenyan culture. Yeah. So I'm used to Kenyan culture. But okay, once in a while I go to Uganda, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. to visit my, you know, where I when was you, From born, your father's side. From my father's side. Yes. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. The musical journey, let's get into your musical yeah. journey. Where did it start? It started when I was in a uh, university, mm -hmm. yeah. I was actually, I was a, 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 a kind of a liturgy prefect. That's mm -hmm. where I started. I mm -hmm. used to sing in choirs, you know. I used to sing at home. Actually, uh, my dad is the one who used to, is the one who, who encouraged me to do music. Yeah, he mm -hmm. inspired me. But I used to be like very shy. shy. I used to be very shy. Mm -hmm. But I had people around me who really did encourage me. That's when it started. Um, my first, uh, my first uh, single, mm -hmm. Nilitoa, in 2013. Mm -hmm. But Nilikwa this kind of so shy siko nataka kutoa hiyo music you know like uh, yeah. okay i think every musician mm -hmm. wako na this thing in them like kind of doubt what to start mm -hmm. like how is my voice mm -hmm. how, you know you want everything to be perfect i was like that i wanted everything to be perfect mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. uh, but um in 2018 that's when i became really serious mm -hmm. uh yeah, I encouraged myself, of course. Nika Sema, okay, let me do, let me do it now, mm -hmm. you know. So, um, Nika record my first single. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's this thing like a perfectionism that you look when I sumbua. So, I record, Nina Chananayo, like, ah, it's not perfect. Yeah. So, Ika Fika Pahali, I record Nika Chukana music. Nikenda, Nikarudi, Uganda. Mm -hmm. I started looking for producers there. Mm -hmm. That's when uh, there's a producer called Skills. Mm -hmm. I record more and more. More and more, like I was looking for a perfect uh, director. That, that's when I got that. Uh, he's called Steve Mugo. video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, releasing the music was hard for me because but I had your doubt. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but eventually I did it. Wow. Yeah. Let's get into more and more. Yeah. You have a new song you released that roughly two weeks ago. Yeah. Take us through that. 
More and More is a love song. Mm -hmm. What inspired it? Actually, okay, what inspired it, I can say, is I listen to a lot of music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and my best friend actually, we alikuja to Kakachini, to Kaanza Kwandi Come One More, like inspiration. Okay. I don't know what to say, how to say this. To go to Raskia, different music. Mm -hmm. That's when Akakuja Kasema, hey Zala, we want to sit down to Andy K music, we record it. Yeah. So, but the, thanks to him, whatever he is, thanks to him, he's the one who inspired me to write that song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a love song, actually. It's just a cool, simple love song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe take us through the process of where it started, you wrote the song and then all the way to production up until the release. When it, it by the way, it started in 2018. The production of More and More? Yes. Uh huh. It started in 2018 mm -hmm. to, to end at Uganda by the Tuka record. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tuka record the music, Tuka Kuja Kenya. I wanted to do the video. Mm -hmm. But now the problem was. Corona ika hit. Mm -hmm. So we had to stop it from there. But then one more is an old song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the alafu so to kakaka I took fanya the the mu the video because of corona, the lockdown in me by the it gave me a lot of depression and stress mm -hmm. because I was really ready to come to this music industry to do something different. Yeah, so um to kafanya Took a record, then after Corona Elisha, that's when I looked for the director. After looking for the director and just a a video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's when I released the video. Mm -hmm. How did you uh, put yourself together mm -hmm. after now you wanted to get into the industry with a bang and then here is Corona, the depression, you're not able to do things the way you had planned them. How mm -hmm. were you able to overcome everything? Through my very close friend, mm -hmm. yeah, they sat me down. What can encourage, by the way, because mm -hmm. it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy because um, remember, I have used a lot of money on the audio. When mm -hmm. the Uganda, the transport, the everything, they you know, when I touch pesa production, because it's not cheap, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but my friends, my I had my friend and my dad and my mom were well, encouraged by the way. They really did encourage me. It was not easy by the way. Mm -hmm. It wasn't easy. I love to finances in Ikwa very low at that time. Yeah, but uh, to my friends, well, in encourage sana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the plan in the future? New singles, an EP, an album? Yo, more coming. Mm -hmm. More coming. After more and more, I've got another one coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a hot one, actually. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. really good. Yeah. So, Manze, you guys... Support. Support me. And mujitarishe for the next one coming. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're shooting for us bangers for the holidays. Mina <laughs> Which is Kwanza, really nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tatu zinakuja, like zinapatana. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, like zinapatana. That's perfect timing. Yeah. You do your music currently, now you're doing your music from Uganda or from Kenya? Both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both. As long as the producer na ananielewa, Ata Kenyan, kuna Kenyan tafanya nao kazi, as long as the producer understands me na tunafanya kazi poa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're good to go because the videographer actually is a Kenyan. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to try something new. new. Yeah, something new. Mm -hmm. Na uyu producer alikuwa menelewa in a big way. Alikuwa menelewa. Kwa zenja umefanya the first, mm -hmm. the second, mm -hmm. and the third. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the videographer nyo nikatafta Kenya because he is really, truly good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Moving forward, any collaborations we should expect? Yeah. Yeah. After, mm -hmm. I think after my second release and my third. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Except, expect something big. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who would you like to collaborate with in the Kenyan market? In the Kenyan market, we have, uh, oh my God, Ritsan. Mm -hmm. And there's a man called uh, Calligraph. Mm -hmm. Calligraph. They really inspire me. Yeah. Yeah. Calligraph actually. He's really good. He is really good. He's really good. Yeah. He's an international man. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Red Sun Kuna Waire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, those are names we barely see. That's really nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because those are uh, icons. Yeah. Because Kenyanafanya in the industry, um, 
ni kitu yenye tutasikizana na hao yeah mm -hmm. yes wow moving forward who's your role model in the industry in kenyan or in general that's upon you <laughs> you are the one who will decide Gosh, which one i have many mm -hmm. <laughs> i have many in international i've got um uh nikki minaj wow rihanna mm -hmm. billy eilish mm -hmm. yeah international and when we come in um africa africa we've got okay to be very honest uh, i look up to zari boss lady mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. he's really hard working he's really okay she, she's, she's really good, good. She's, she's really really good, good yeah she's understood really her craft yeah she's understood her craft and yeah. her audience as and well audience yeah wow as we wind up where can we get you on social media where can we get your music you'll get my music in youtube mm -hmm. zala please uh, like share and uh, subscribe mm -hmm. i love for my instagram ni zala music mm -hmm. please go and follow Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Right before we wind up, someone has uh, sent an interesting question. Yeah. Uh, since now you have four cultures, as you are getting married, which culture should you follow? Or rather, which culture will you follow? It's completely out of context. But uh, during dowry negotiations, do we go the Indian way, the Italian way, the Ugandan way, or the Kikuyu way? Gosh, akuna akuna nini? <laughs> but how will they how will they come to your home okay not thought about it 